boy Ron Bass have joined me. Mr. Dillon, will you answer the question? What has transpired with, between you and Ron Bass the past week? Have you signed an exclusive contract? Well, Barbara, it's official at this point. Cowboy Ron Bass is now held exclusively by James J. Dillon. I have successfully uh, eliminated all the other contracts, all other obligations. I have no obligation to anyone other than Cowboy Ron Bass, who is destined to become the next world's heavyweight champion. Well, as you can hear the crowd behind us calling Just for Dillon. Just a minute, Barb. Before you go any further, I want you to look at the way the man is dressed. Is he dressing right for a chase now? Look at the man. Is that a good lid or not? Look at these big boots he's got down here. The man is in style now. That's the way he'll be from now on, Barb. I wanted he to ask... He's six new pair of boots. It's very generous of him. Very generous man. On the 23rd in Lakeland, in addition to Joe LaDuke returning to Florida, there's going to be, first, a lights-out match between Dusty Rhodes and Ron Bass. And then, regardless of the outcome of that match, you will be wrestling Dusty Rhodes. And if you lose, you will have to leave Florida. How do you feel about this? Yes, and it is a Texas bull rope match. You know, there's already a lot of conversation. Bill after called me from Pro Wrestling Magazine this morning, and he said, could this be the end of the line in the state of Florida for James J. Dillon? You've gotten rid of all your other contracts. You're down to Ron Bass. And now you've signed a contract to actually wrestle Dusty Rhodes in a Texas bull rope match. You've never had a bull rope match. Rhodes has never lost a bull rope match. And if you lose, you're out of the state of Florida for one year. But you see, there's a whole lot more than meets the eye. Because when I saw the contract for the Lakeland Civic Center on the 23rd, Bass and Rhodes, I was so excited that when the promoter pushed that other contract over, and I looked at Ron Bass in the eye and I said, can I beat Rhodes in a bull rope match? And he said, of course you can. And I signed my name without looking at the small print about this loser leave the state of Florida. So you better believe I'm not gonna go down easy. I'm gonna go down fighting because what you don't realize is the man that actually perfected the Texas bull rope match is standing right here. Another example of where Rhodes took all the credit, but this is the guy that paved the way. But like every good teacher, there is a few little tricks of the Texas bull rope match that he never showed the American dream, Dusty Rhodes. He's gonna show me. I'm not gonna go down easy. I'm going down fighting, and I actually believe that with Ron Bass's aid and training, I can beat Dusty Rhodes in a Texas bull rope match. <laughs> Barb, I'm gonna come out here and I'm not gonna stand here and I'm not gonna holler, I'm not gonna scream and act like a fool. I'm just gonna be right to the point and I'm gonna talk to you, Rhodes. No matter whatever happens down the road, down the future, the people said that we'd get back together, that we'd be blood friends again. You're the only man that ever slapped him. I'm the only man that's him. ever lived and talked about slapping Dusty Rhodes right out here on national TV. I popped the man's jaws good. And Rhodes, I'm still here looking in your eye, and I'm still saying, come and do whatever you got to do. Whatever holds in the future for you, whether you get a chance at Harley Race, whether you go out there and you think you're going to be world's champion, I want you to remember something. It ain't going to happen. You've got to walk over me first. You've got to go over the Southern Heavyweight Champion, and that's me. And Rhodes, there ain't nowhere in the world that you're going to walk over me to the world's championship, boy. I'm going to be here kicking, fighting anything I got to do. And I want you to remember something, Rhodes, I've never lost a bull rope match either, and a man's gonna stay in Florida. You're the one that's gonna take an extended vacation, and you ain't gonna be coming back as no midnight rider hoax ever again, boy. One final comment, Barbara. The Lakeland Civic Center on Saturday the 23rd, I've not only made a request, but I've demanded that there be no cameras, no video cameras, no still cameras. I don't want anybody photographing the match between Rhodes and I. If I have to leave the state of Florida, I don't want to capture it on film. And no matter what happens, the 23rd is certainly going to be an important night for Cowboy Ron Bass, J.J. Dillon, and Dusty Rhodes. That's our Take 5 for this week.